Some people dream success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. The World Championship in France, Nice, which was uh, two weeks ago with Carla Dunlap. Uh, which place? Uh, we won. It was the first place. Uh, six times I've won this title. And uh, now we have my eyes set on Mr. Olympia, which is in Los Angeles in uh, September. Since I've been coming here getting therapy, uh, it really loosened the back up and it strengthened the back in a sense because it allowed me to do more of the back movements that I couldn't do to help. That's an example of just how agile and fit this particular bodybuilder normally is. Not the muscle-bound stereotype most people associate with bodybuilders. Now, Bill Grant was a bodybuilder from the golden era. He competed in the 60s, the 70s, and into the 80s. And honestly, I think Bill Grant had a really amazing physique for that era. He had a really well-developed abs, which is one of the things that really stood out about him. One athlete, uh, Paul Jean Gillian, and after a recent competition, he wanted to be tested. He came to me. I didn't go to him. And I tested him the next day, right after the competition, and he was negative. He also won the world championships where he was tested. So there are these genetic freaks, so to speak, or these superior genetic specimens that will gradually come to surface. The first leg in the build-up to the Mr. Olympia contest is the weigh-in, which gives us an opportunity to take a look at some of the other contestants. In a competition, but I also train with a with a picture in my mind of the perfect physique as it re, as it relates to me. And so when I when I'm training, I'm picturing that perfect physique and trying to attain that. Um, if that happens to coincide with what the judges want, then that's fantastic. Um, but when, the bottom, when it comes down to the bottom line, I guess my bottom line is to win the Mr. Olympia. I mean, that's the, the big draw that, that brings me back to it. <laughs> 